Hi, this is Dr. Priyanka Arkuri, consultant dermatologist, Astor Hospital, Whitefield. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most common skin topic, which is the psoriasis. Psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory disease which mainly affects skin, nail, and joints. So, it is almost around 0.2 to 4 percent prevalent in our population. It affects our, usually the middle aged people from around 20 years to 40 years. As I already told you, it affects skin, nail, and joints. In skin, usually you have this red scaly patches where a lot of thin flaky scales are shed. In the nail, we usually see a lot of pits, nail plate thinning, uh, separation of the nail plate from the nail bed, a few red spots and few longitudinal lines are also seen in the nail uh, psoriasis. Now in the joints, it usually affects the peripheral joints where usually it affects the small joints of the hands and of the feet. There will be little swelling, morning stiffness and patient have a difficulty in walking and as well as a little bit of swelling in the joints. Now, Coming back to the types of psoriasis, there are multiple types of psoriasis. As I told you, the psoriasis is class, uh, classically seen as a red plaque with scaly white lesions. It usually affects the extensors. Extensors means usually the joints, like the elbow joints, the knee joints, or the pressure bearing areas like your knuckles, your lower back. Okay, this is a classical psoriasis. Now, there are other types of psoriasis where usually it affects only the scalp where people do get confused with saporic dermatitis or your dandruff but it only affects the scalp it doesn't affect the other parts of the body and the second variant is your palmo plantar psoriasis where usually it affects only the palms and soles getting confused with the eczemas the other third variant is your inverse psoriasis where usually it affects the folds unlike your classical psoriasis which affects the extensors so in inverse psoriasis it usually affects the folds like your axillary folds your groin areas your neck making it difficult to diagnose getting confused with between your fungal infections uh, the other uh, less variants are your pustular psoriasis, your erythrodermic psoriasis, which are the most severe form of psoriasis, which are also called as skin emergencies, where the patient has to be admitted in the hospital for a few days. Now, coming back to the most common questions asked about psoriasis. Why does this happen? Now, th there are multiple reasons why it happens. The most common being your autoimmune uh, condition or the genetic condition. It is around 20 to 30% hereditary. We have seen it to run in the families. In autoimmune, here the immune systems of our body just act against our own skin. It will increase the rapid turnover of the skin. So hence you see a lot of scaling lesions. There are various triggering factors why you get a sudden acute flare up in your psoriasis. It could be your smoking, alcohol consumption, or your viral infections it could just trigger your psoriasis. Uh, cold weather could trigger your psoriasis. And uh, there are few medications as well, like your uh, painkillers, or a few antihypertensives are known to trigger psoriasis. This is one of the most common asked questions. The next one is uh, whether it is contagious. Doctor, do I get it if someone touches me? No, this is totally a non-contagious disease. It doesn't spread from one person to other. So you don't have to be worried about it and don't create a social stigma regarding this psoriasis. The next most common question is, um, Doctor, will it be cured? Uh, as of now, we don't have completely we don't we can't cure psoriasis completely but it can be treated uh, we can maintain the disease free state but we can't cure completely yes there are certain circumstances where we have seen that few people don't get recurrence at all it just depends on the person to person immunity where it just doesn't recur so these are few questions which general patients to ask us. So coming back to the treatment part of psoriasis, there are various modalities available for psoriasis. It could be your topical medications, it could be your uh, internal oral medic medicines, there are various biologics available which, is, which are your injectables. So all this can help to cure your psoriasis or help to treat your psoriasis or control the disease. The main thing I want to stress here is that please uh, don't over abuse your steroid. Steroid is not the mainstay of the treatment. We have seen a lot of people taking oral steroids for psoriasis and sudden withdrawal has increased uh, the psoriasis or the acute flare up like your erythrodermic or your pustular psoriasis which has made patients to get admitted to the hospital. So please, please avoid steroids. For further queries, you can visit Astor Hospital Whitefield. Thank you.